Yeah, I did Leland and the parent I spoke to today says this is just like way too much to handle right ahead of the new school year. However, board members say they must take action, even though the mayor is suggesting that their priorities are off. It's a lot of chaos and dysfunction. One week before school starts and Teresa Kennedy feels frazzled. I think we need to be focused on getting kids back to school safely. But instead, this Richmond school's mom is distracted by controversy surrounding low SOL scores. Statewide, the data reveals achievement remains below pre-pandemic levels everywhere. However, while nearly every school district improved from the virtual learning days of 2020 and 2021, RPS continue declining. One third of Richmond students passed in writing, history and science. To pretend like anyone should be thriving at this point is feels a little gaslighty. <laughs> it feels like we're ignoring the effects of the past two and a half years. Still, the city school board will hold an emergency meeting Tuesday night to address what the chairwoman calls a depressing state of affairs and possible district leadership changes. I feel like this is being politicized. Making it even more political, Mayor LeVar Stoney is calling out the school board on Twitter, saying this emergency meeting is unnecessary. I mean, I think that the mayor needs to cut it with the theatrics. Um, I think anybody in the city who saw those scores agrees that this is an emergency. School board vice chair Kenya Gibson says if he wants to uh, dictate how we operate as a school board, he should run for the school board. Um, and if he's not going to run for the school board, then he could support us by, uh, you know, providing us with the resources that we need. Mayor Stoney says he also heard rumors that the school board may fire Superintendent Jason Cameras, which he believes would be catastrophic. We need a superintendent that is able to meet our needs as a, as a district, and we have a high needs district. Um, I can also say, though, as a parent, I mean, I have no intentions of firing the superintendent a week before the start of school. Meanwhile, board member Nicole Jones hopes she and her colleagues don't jump to major conclusions so soon. We just have to, um, you know, be mindful that we don't want to react. I do think that it is important to have a candid discussion about where we are as a division. Now, we did reach out to the mayor's office and the mayor was not available for an interview today and the superintendent also declined to comment for our story.